Hi, I'm Vicki with Condi Systems Technical Support. And what I want to demonstrate in this video is with the Rico 3110, how to get rid of a condensation error. A condensation error is an error 993. Uh, we have another video on some of the other Ricos on how to get rid of it, the, the 5050, the 7000, the 3300. 3110 is a little different. It's a little different Rico. Menu is a little different, so wanted to separate it from the other Ricos and do an individual video on how to do uh, to rid a condensation error with this 3110. So three different methods. One is through the menu. I'm going to walk you through that. The second is cleaning the belt. I'm going to walk you through that. The third and more desperate attempt is a commercial hair dryer opening the lid, blowing everything out. Condensation error is nothing more than you have vapor or you have condensation built up in the printer. Somehow it's gotten damp from moving it in or out of a controlled environment. Just need to wait for it to dry out. The fourth and final stage is just to sit back and wait a few hours for everything to clear up. But I'm going to walk you through the three stages, get you started going through the menu first, then I'm going to show you how to clean the belt, and final, just talk about where to blow out the condensation using your commercial hair dryer. So let's get started. So to clear condensation error uh, through the menu, you're going to press your menu button, which is your down arrow, press it one time. Okay, it's going to come up counter. You're going to arrow down until you see maintenance. When you see maintenance, you're going to press your enter button. You're going to see nozzle check, but if you arrow up, you're going to see decondensation. When you see decondensation, you're going to press your enter button. It's processing. It's going to print three sheets of paper, blank, nothing on it. And basically, it's just a running a procedure that will help get rid of any moisture in the printer. Once that's done, you're going to escape out, escape out again, TC ready, and that's the procedure for our decondensation through the menu. So to clean the belt, in order to clean the belt, uh, first thing we need to do, this is the back of the 3110, this is our duplex unit. Uh, this thing that protrudes out of the back is your duplex. You've got two tabs. You press them both inward and pull the duplex outward. From here, if you're standing directly behind the 3110 to the right, you're going to see a white wheel. It looks like a little gear. This wheel turns. If you can get your fingernail in there, you can turn it downward. You can also turn it upward. It doesn't matter. I usually turn it downward. If you can't get it with your fingernail, you can use like a tool, like a flathead screwdriver, and gently, because you, you, you know, you don't want to break these tabs. But if you turn gently, this will turn the belt inside the printer, and we'll get a close shot of that. But as the belt's turning, as you're turning the belt, should I say, you're going to be wiping the belt using an al using alcohol and a lint-free cloth, and that's going to help get rid of uh, any moisture and condensation on the belt. So that's your second process of getting rid of your uh, 993 error or your condensation error on the 3110. So as you keep turning, the belt's turning, just to show you. So avoid damaging these tubes. These are your ink tubes, okay? This is your belt, this black, shiny band in here. As I'm turning from the back, this is my lint-free cloth. I have some alcohol on it. I'm going to start wiping this belt, left to right, right to left, doesn't matter. And as I'm wiping, I'm turning the wheel in the back, as I had shown earlier in the video. And as that wheel's turning, you're wiping the belt. Okay, so you're going to keep continue turning until you go all the way around. Belt's not that big, but you'll be able to see in the belt where you started because it'll be cleaner. Okay, you won't see this, as many streaks as you're turning. Once you reach all the way around, pretty much, if you see any other areas that you can wipe that have moisture, you want to get those areas as well. But that's cleaning the belt. Okay, so the final and the most desperate, I guess, attempt should cleaning the belt and going through the menu, clearing the decondensation air. Uh, that should not work. Get a commercial blow dryer, plug it up, hold it at a safe distance, covers up and just lightly, left to right, you're going to blow dry using some heat inside the printer. Just blow dry and eventually 
you know, maybe five minutes, just kind of dry it out to help speed the process. That's going to be one of the quickest ways to get rid of any moisture in the printer. To close the cover, put the duplex unit back on the printer, okay, just the way you take you took it off. Showed you earlier how to take it off, so you're just going to snap it back in. Get your printer back to ready. Turn it on if it's off. Get it back to ready and see if your error is gone. If the error is not gone, you can repeat this process or you can wait a couple hours in a climate controlled room. The moisture is going to go away on its own, so you'll be ready and back up and running in no time. Okay, so I have demonstrated three different methods for getting rid of a condensation error, which is an error 993 on your Ricoh 30, 3110. The first way, the first attempt was going through the menu, your maintenance menu, walked you through that. The second attempt, opening the cover, cleaning the belt, wiping down any damp, uh, wet areas where condensation may have built up. And the, th and the third and final attempt was with a commercial hair dryer, which we do not have, but plug it up, open the lid, and just demonstrating where to blow it out at using the heat. And also the fourth attempt is just let it sit. Condensation will eventually go away if you put it in a controlled environment to where the climate is controlled. Condensation will eventually go away and your printer will be ready to use again. So again, if you have any questions on how to do any of these steps that I've walked you through today, be sure you call us here at Condi. My name is Vicki. Thank you for your time.